Yeah. Yo, yo. Hey. What up, baby? Right? I, I just turned on the live and stepped step away. You was there. So what up? Are you ready? Hey. Yeah, man. I saw you walk away. I just hopped on, man. What's good with you, brother? Man, yeah, it's good. Good to see you. Good to talk to you. Happy belated New Year and all that. And um, it's good to talk to you, man. Good to see you. Same to you, my friend. Same to you, man. It's uh, good to good to end that last year and bring in this new one. You know, some new energy. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving forward, man. How was uh, how's your New Year been so far? Uh, been a little hectic just because I'm in a I'm in finance, so it's like just closing out all shit from the prior year and stuff. But after the 31st, I I'll be in cruise control again. So, um, so no, it was it was good. And then we went we went away for our honeymoon for for New Year's. So. Um, that Congratulations! Congratulations, brother! I know I, I, I know I said it, but I haven't spoken to you since the honeymoon. I, I saw I saw how it looked oh, out there, man. That was uh, great. I'm, we're trying to go back out there every year, be like, just fucking love not, it. Not mad at you, brother. Congratulations yeah. to, to uh, you and wifey. Thanks, man. It was good. So it's good to see you. And welcome everybody. This is episode ten, talking crazy with a man A plus, Souls of Mischief, Hieroglyphics, Oakland, California, and. um we haven't done this in a couple of months, so just we're going to run through kind of what this show is about for our newcomers and people who uh, may be joining us for the first time. Um, so this is our monthly talk on mental health stuff, this different topics, and um, we know it's not discussed enough. Um, men, a lot of people in general, fuck that, but <laughs> people yeah. in general. And, and so, you know, we're excited to use our platforms to have some candid discussions um, about the you know, about, about these types of topics they are important to people. And why don't you tell us what the show is not? Yes, uh, what the show is not is um, me and my man Tamal pretending to be doctors, trying to diagnose things, uh, trying to come, pretending like we're coming from a, pro a professional perspective on um, these these topics. This is just two brothers uh, sharing our experiences, shooting shooting uh, shooting the shit about what we uh, what we've been through in our lives and how it could help other people. And um, yeah, we're not trying to do any kind of diagnosis or or claiming to be experts on any of this. We're here to learn just as much as anybody else. We're all on our own paths and we all have things to offer. And this is just basically to break the stigma of uh, of the, the topic of mental health in itself. And um, just two brothers chopping it up about that. You know, yeah, been, through, been through stuff, yeah. Yeah, and if we have some, you know, we have some personal experiences. If we do have some some uh, expertise in something, we'll, sh we'll share that. But, you know, we're just trying to just talk. I mean, just first just start talking, right? That's where you got to start from. And so, yeah. um, you know, as our approach is just, you know, we say take what you want and leave the rest, man. You know, hopefully you can get something out of it within this hour. If not, that's cool. But, you know, so yeah. take your thing. One last point is that this is a, it's a structured dis discussion. So um, please try to keep your comments uh, related to what we're talking about. You know, I'll try to, I'll try to look at them. And um, if you have specific questions, use the question speech below. We can, we can pull it up. Yes, um, yes, well, yes. You know, so, so, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Um, again, this is episode 10, Talking Crazy, and with a man A+. Plus. My name is Tamal, carrying the culture. And, um, yeah, so you picked this one, and that, what, what, is it, what does this mean to you? I put down a couple of definitions here and stuff like that, but um, what does this yeah. mean? Yeah, well, there's a couple of definitions, definitions here. You put down one, and I put down one subsequently. They're basically the same thing. It says self-awareness self is how an individual consciously knows and understands their own character feelings, motives, and desires, or self-awareness is the ability to focus on yourself and how your actions, thoughts, or emotions do or do not align with your internal standards. Um, what self-awareness means to me, um, you know, just to kind of break it down a little bit um, in more layman's terms, for me, it's just being honest with myself, uh, not being caught up in the, uh, you know, the the goggles that we that we look at stuff through based off of biases, which are maybe emotional or or you know whatever reasons we 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 look at ourselves and we have a bias about whatever situation it is. Uh, I call it self awareness just being able to look at yourself really for real, talk to yourself for real, um, be honest with yourself about you know what you're good at, what you're not good at, whether you're wrong in a situation, right in a situation, just to have uh, some real honest introspection about. Uh, you know, why you think the things you think and why you react the way you react. And um, I think it's not like a cut and dry type thing. It's something that we strive for. You know, I don't think, you know, oh, I'm not saying they're not self-aware. I'm self-aware. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's a constant thing that we, we're trying to achieve, that I'm trying to achieve. I'm only speaking for myself. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it, 
I could talk it in circles, but basically to break it down, it's, you know, being aware of oneself, true motives, true feelings, true, true emotions. And it's way more difficult than it just sounds because, you, you know, we have all of these things in our life that form how we th look at things and, and uh, you know, different biases we may have that aren't checked with real information. Like a lot of, a lot of things that we have opinions on that may be bad opinions or bad information for whatever reason, and we don't really suss it out ourselves. Well, life has a way of making us look at things that we're not looking at. And um, that's what I love about self-awareness and, and, the, and the, the plight to have it, you know, it's always ongoing. And to me, the more self-aware you are, the more potential you have to be the best person you can be. The less self-awareness is when you start getting into the areas of doing a lot of fuck shit and being okay with it. Yeah. Or, I mean, and we can look at the world that we're in right now, and, I mean, lack of self-awareness in large amounts could turn out some real, some real kook parties, you know what I'm saying? Some, some real loom buckets out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gr groups of them. So, I mean, so I, I always look at self-awareness as, um, as a positive thing. Another thing, too, is that self-awareness is uh, – you know, it, it, you know, all of these things tie together, but it's kind of like looking at stuff without the ego checking it all the time. Because a lot of a lot of times, people are just looking through their ego and reacting through their ego more so than like, you know, uh, whether whether the situation, you know, looking at it from a pure situation with no biases. I don't want to call anybody right or wrong, but um, you know, a lot of times ego gets into things and people don't really can't really look at th look at themselves square in the face because of uh, whatever social pressures pressures they have or whatever self esteem issues one may have and you know anyway you know, you know I'll be long winded about this kind of shit so <laughs> you can cut you can cut in on me anytime brother <laughs> you good you good you good I mean um so you said a couple of things that, that that stuck out for me uh, you said you actually said the same thing multiple times you said. Uh, Honesty, truthful. And we've talked about that several times, right? When we're we're approaching this mental health stuff, and we're right and trying to dig in, and peel away the onion, and do the work on ourselves. Got to be honest with ourselves, man. That's like first and foremost, right? And so we've talked about that numerous times, and so it comes up here, right? Like, we can't really be self-aware if we're bullshitting ourselves. I mean, like, Fast. it's it's not gonna it's not gonna work, right? Like, if you're just because we, and as I said, I hear. We've done workshops on this called the lies we tell ourselves right we can we already talked about this like you can you can convince yourself of anything if you really want it so yeah. um so that's the first thing we got to really like cut the bullshit with ourselves man like take a take a long hard look and with any of these things to um before we really we really get anywhere the other thing that stood out for me here man was that you know i put it i presented the definition you presented there was there's so many definitions there were, there, of this. there were a lot of them yeah, yeah right you were saying there's, there's so many, and and so I'm like, you know, and they're, they're, I like them all actually. Most of them make make a lot of make a lot of sense. But um, there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different ways to look at it. But ultimately, it really comes down to me. It really comes down to us being being um, honest w with ourselves. So, you know, let's get into though. Um, let's get into the negatives of of not having. It. And I wanted to bring up a, a, a example I've seen a lot lately. Um, it's really sticking out for me. Like artists, a lot of artists these days, rappers, just a lot of celebrities, people are airing out their dirty laundry on various platforms, like the wildest shit and wild unraveling. I'm seeing motherfuckers unravel right before my eyes. And, um, and I'm sitting there asking myself, like, man, are they not really under? Where are they? What are they thinking? You know what I'm saying? So maybe you could talk about that a little bit, particularly you being, being, being you and, and stuff like that. But like sharing like affairs, like, you know, like I'm seeing like some, some cats like really, yeah. I, and you, what you getting? I, I, I don't know if we thinking the same shit, but I, I heard some real, some real wild stuff being like, you know, I bring recently. it up, fuck it. <laughs> I'm glad it's, I'm glad you the one that could do this. I'm going to let you say it. So, I mean, I'm seeing Keith Murray online kind of lose his shit, like, like share some crazy stuff. Whether it happened or not, I don't know. But it's got me thinking, like, damn, bro, you like, crushing your legacy right now because you're one of the dopest MTs I've ever heard. And then, and then it's like all we're talking about is the antics. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know, man. I, I just 
I'm just that's just one example. If you, you can even share another, I'm just seeing that like being really prevalent these days. Yeah, you know? I, I was gonna talk about the the um the one rapper who I, who I who I like. You know, this is no judgment. Talking about like his girl peeing in his mouth, uh, like, you know, like how he enjoys that, and she's so clean and stuff. So so it's no, it, it's it's not like dirty or nothing. I mean, I, I'm not trying to paraphrase this shit. You take it take it for whatever you want. But yeah. the rapper recently said that in an interview. Again, this is me throwing no shade on that brother. He likes what he likes. We're talking about people disclosing that kind of shit. It's, it's our, our topic. So I don't I don't want it to be misconstrued yeah. that I'm saying anything foul about this brother. I'm actually a fan of, of him as a person and as a uh, as an artist. But uh, yeah. And also about the Keith Murray stuff. Yeah, it's a trip. Um, you know, we live in the social in the social media era of technology of, of modern technology right and like you said he's known for his rapping and whatnot um and in the present state of the world of uh, you know you get po you popularized by the wild shit you know the um the shock value of things and um the fact of the matter is you know i met keith murray keith murray on on mad occasions and he's mad cool we're, we're cool we're cool with him and all of that you know we're, we're cool with eric all of them but um, he's been a wild dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he has like been a wild, wild, wild person, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, and That's... I won't even speak on, I won't speak on that. I'm, he's doing it himself, but I think, it, I think, um, yeah, you make a good point that he's gonna be, you know, he's getting known for this as more so than his music. But I mean, he's doing it for a reason, he, I think that's, I think it's for the notoriety of it all. Maybe it's setting up a show or something. Maybe it's a rollout. Um, but, I don't know. But we live in a world where that's how you get your attention. Is like, you know, you know, we're sitting there, we're talking, and we're not really no shock value shit. And you know, we're not gonna, you know, we're, we're grassroots with it. We're, this this kind of stuff doesn't get viral by shock. Yeah. But um, people who want that and who have that kind of ammo, you know what I'm saying? They they shooting it off. Now I'm not saying this to defend any of that. I'm just as mind boggled as you. And I'm like, when does it stop? One of the things that um that's right along line with this is that like, you know, I can look online and, and, uh, and, and you know, look into my feed or whatever and see straight murders, like murders, see people getting smoked. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's, and there's, you know, there's some sites that there's some people who just like put a lot of that shit up. I mean, you could go on Twitter and you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's porn on there. You know what I'm saying? So, I say all this not to be judgmental or anything, but to say that this is the world we live in, yeah. the, the, the the shock value of things. So it is kind of like, a, for whatever reason, Murray doing his thing the way he's doing it. And um, as a fan of it, as the music, I do, I do agree that this isn't bringing any light to his music at all. Um, but it's bringing him new new listeners and new ears and new yeah. eyes, not, not music listeners, but new eyes. Yes. And, and stuff in the present to whereas, you know, a lot of people who may not have been rocking with him nowadays notice crazy, crazy rapper from the, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And in my opinion, I, I share the same opinion as you, not so much that he, he could do whatever he wanted to, yeah. but the fact that, uh, the fact that, uh, you know, it, it's probably going to outshine his musical legacy for the newer, for the newer, for his newer viewers. <laughs> it, it is a thing, but I think a lot, I, I think artists that are doing this kind of stuff nowadays, understand that I, I would like to think and or it could be they're not that self-aware to shit like you know back on our topic you know i, right. I don't know right that, that's what it, we're, man like you know uh, the example of self-awareness someone made a good point i'm gonna say that but people people forgotten the power of privacy it's a different age right where it's i think i think it's a different age i think people are automatically programmed with this social media now particularly if you're just growing up with social media like it's part of your life to just be like we're getting off topic that's okay to just where you're gonna because this is self awareness. You're just gonna spill it out, right? Yeah. Hit send, hit 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 post. Damn, what the fuck did I like? Comment, right? Like people always feel like they have to comment on a page or something like. So I think a lot of that is self awareness, right? Like knowing when to shut the fuck up, yeah. knowing when to speak, knowing knowing you know knowing a lot of things, right? For instance, I'll share at least a positive example of how self awareness can work for me. I have a temper, and I'm working on you. Don't, you don't say. No, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> I knew coming to. Um, I've been working on it for like 25 years and and made some progress, but we're a work in progress. So um, what I do, like what I try to do now is talk to the show on triggers. I, rec I try to recognize my triggers and and like if I'm a, getting hot and I'm around somebody, I let them know I can't talk right now. I can't. I can't, I can't do anything right now, but if I'm hungry or whatever, 
you know, like I may need to do something else. I can't talk. And um, when I'm around people that are like that, well, I try to be around people that, that are caring and loving. So they understand. Oh, work. Thank you. Th thank you for letting me know. Like, yeah. I get that. Thank you. <laughs> you go, go out, go for a walk, go to do what you need to do. And so, um, that's an example, at least for me. When, when yeah, it, that's that's self awareness, brother. Yeah, yeah. Well, so give me another one of when, like, of another, I guess, negative, or negative, another example of uh, not having it, because there's so there's so many that, that pop up. I, you know. Uh, let's see. Off the off the head, an example of when people don't have self awareness. Um. Uh. Well, okay. This is one. All right. There's something here. We're just going to be specific. We're talking about social self-awareness or introspective self-awareness or, or just how? They kind of tie together, I guess. Yeah, Not yeah. Kind, kind of. They tie together. Um, uh, one, one, time, one, one way that it happens a lot is drugs and alcohol. Um, that tends to make people either less self-aware or not caring about self-awareness altogether and i'm not saying this to be judgmental in any way at all this is just a fact you know it um a positive way of saying that is it removes inhibitions right that's what people say alcohol removes inhibitions but you know um it does people it makes people not trip off their surroundings with other people who's around other you know uh maybe they walk in stumble into something like you, you know what i mean that tends to pe make people less self-aware that's not a that's not necessarily Necessarily, a, a, that's not necessarily a good thing. Not to, that's not to say that people can't get drunk and have a great time. But I'm saying uh, one, one particular thing of when people have lack of self awareness is during intoxication and and drug usage. I'm not counting weed in there, people. Just so y'all know. Um, Absolutely. It, that may not have been the uh, the example you, the direction of example you was looking for. I don't know. No, it's good. I mean, because that's a listen. That's just a fact. I mean, like that 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 having um you know that those things particularly alcohol and you know, i've done the dumbest shit on alcohol i mean and, and all 99 percent of all the dumb shit i've done in my life yeah has been off alcohol crash cars i've done a lot of stupid shit man i mean i don't even want to talk about it. so um some people don't have physical awareness meaning you're walking down the street staring at the phone and people yeah that, that's, that's yeah, yeah that's true that's true yeah i mean physical and it's it all type and that's that's like tying into yourself like some people are so fucking lost what like i don't know man it's it's, it's hard to even i mean space could have a term i would even say like this terms of like where it's like yo how are you not paying attention and particularly with the world the way it is these days man like my head stays like rotating around like at motherfuckers because i don't know what's gonna go down you know i live i live near the uh the synagogue here in pittsburgh that where the mass shooting was and uh oh years ago yeah my you know what i'm saying i got a call for, for money it's like don't leave there's an active shooter outside you know what i'm saying so um it's it's like three blocks from me so yeah. and i live in a nice neighbor so it, it's crazy man so it, it's it, depending on a lot of things in the world I, it, the physical self-awareness is critical i mean like then just this socially and stuff like that and that that's another one so i wanted to get in it was like social awareness of your I mean, even just people like this thing about like there's even people that just like talk really loud, you know, or yeah. like, or don't know when to, or don't get social, or don't know when to like, um, you know, maybe that they're being too, too um, overzealous or something for the situation, right? You know, like you're too amped up and it's everyone's everyone else is chilling. Oh man, you you already know like first of all, public transportation, like whether that's a bus or a train, there's always them them motherfuckers, a couple people. That want everybody to know this conversation. Like everybody, these two want everybody to know what they talking about. And they, I, I mean, I grew up, you know, I grew up in East Oakland, but there's always somebody like people would be on the bus saying, talking their business man loud or looking around to see who's li who's listening and shit. And like you know, and the same thing with the train. What? Um, oh, oh, you know, what the, you know, it's the fucking worst. Uh, not the worst, but w one of my pet peeves is the comedy club. Like the motherfuckers talking too much over the comedy club, or heckling too much, or having loud ass drunk conversation while the while somebody's on stage performing. Oh, I can't stand that shit. Um, that that's a 
self-awareness thing, you know? Oh, someone said people who can't read the room. Perfect. Yeah, that's a perfect way to express Like, that's a lack of self-awareness. Like, oh, yeah, man. Goodness. Yeah, and that's tough. So, like, let me ask you. So then is it, is that something that's, I think, I mean, I think, a, you know, as a parent, it's a, a, our jobs to teach our kids that type of stuff. Like, you know, a little bit, like, not a little bit, like, because, Big teenagers, I can remember being a te you know, they're known for not having self-awareness, right? Like, they're, like, flaky and doing goofy shit. My daughter's always locking herself out or something or forgetting, whoops, I forgot my key. Or I'm like, no, you don't forget the key. Like, Yo, <laughs> we're certainly supposed to guide our young ones in self-awareness. You know, a part of it is instinctual, of course. That's just being... You know, a lot animal alive, but like, yeah, we. I do believe that a lot of this lack of self awareness that happens in people is um, since people aren't, aren't taught shit, and I mean that goes all the way down to like, you know, if the shit is some shit is cultural. There's there's manners, mm. uh, all of these things are tie into self awareness, and um, and there's also like you know there's class class entitlement, like you you know like I do. There are like certain kinds of people that just. He, they're like you know it doesn't matter if you're there i'm here <laughs> you know what i'm saying like on the road type of shit or like i oh man i almost got into somebody with um i got it got into it with somebody at an airport we were in line and i can't remember what it was but i was sitting with my baggage in a, in a line and there was this older white gentleman and his young ass kid and his young ass kid walked in a way to where his bag kind of hit me in the head because I was kind of sitting on my bag or something. Like, I can't remember the exact situation. And I was kind of nodding off when I was doing it. For whatever reason, we were waiting in the line for a while. And I, I was with a bunch of people. I'm sure it was like Souls of Mitchell for Hyrule or somebody. And um, his bag hit me and it started hitting me. And so I woke up and started pushing it away. And then the older dude was like, hey, hey, he's just a kid. I was like, look, your kid hit me in the head with a fucking bag. And so since we're talking about self-awareness, that that reminded me of that. Like, I was like, how's that kid going to get the lesson on, uh, what lesson is he going to learn from that? He was just mad rude and hit me with his bag while I was, and my natural reaction was to move it away. And he's like, hey, he's just a kid. Come on, man. I'm like, yo, what? talk about not teaching your kids no self-awareness. You know, I always thought about that. I was like, I wonder what that kid's going to turn out thinking. Like, if that, if his pops who's guiding him around is like, What's stuck in his mind right there is that what I just did was cool and dude was tripping. I, and mind you, I was ahead of them in the line. You know what I'm saying? Like right ahead. His bad, his bad. But anyway, you know how I am when we talking, it, it tr triggers a story of sorts. And, and I'm like, yeah. So I always wondered about that. But there, there, there are no shortage of people like that in the world. And there was a, a man with uh, not very much self-awareness in the situation passing it right to his kid that you don't really need to be self-aware in this situation for whatever reason i don't know what it was i'm not gonna call it racism or nothing like that it, but what it clearly was was a lack of, of self-awareness so i guess to circle back around to the point i learned my i was socialized by my mother you know what i'm saying i got most of my i got my manners from my mom you know what i'm saying she made it a point to socialize me a certain way i completely learned my 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 self-awareness and that my social self-awareness building blocks for my mom so it's hard for me to not look at it like like that's not where we get it from like we don't get that guidance somehow i also learned some from my father but i learned quite a bit from my father as well you know he's straight up he's a charmer a good gentleman all of that shit but i'm saying my mom made it a point she speaks to it as adults she was like yeah i made it a point to socialize you a certain way so you would like you know be a, produ a productive person and a mindful person when dealing with others you know so um yeah to circle back like a, a lot of the responsibility on on what we learn as far as our own personal self-awareness, this certainly starts with the, the parents and those that are supposed to guide us from a young age. And you know, that's a whole nother conversation that leads into a whole different way of, of, I mean, of, you know, you know what I mean? Of course, I mean, and I think, so I think either, yeah, ideally, yeah, the parents would teach us or because if they don't, I mean, we're gonna, yeah, I don't think we're gonna really learn it, right? But particularly if somebody's not only not teaching us, but they're, they're um, pushing us in the opposite way. And I wanted to go to, to like an extreme here, right? So self-awareness, I have here, there's, there's a couple extremes here. Self-awareness, 
you have it is um, can lead to self consciousness. I think, or we could get to that. But I wanted to get into what where it's like versus conceit and egotistical. So it's almost like you're so you're so aware of yourself, quote unquote, that you, or you think rather. We think that we're just um, we're all we think about, and, and like it's just all about it's all about us. And I've had people actually tell me. And like I'm paraphrasing that they were like self-aware and just really in tune with themselves when they were just really being assholes. I mean, it'd be, be quite frank about it, like and just being I mean, really into themselves. That that's narcissistic behavior. You know, when it starts to get the so self-awareness that like I'm all that that's poignant um in, in, to talk about or to 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 keep in mind at any time. I had a, a friend of mine. I'm not gonna say his name, but I had a friend of mine when we were younger in the '90s. Um, he said, you know, we were like, I don't know if we took some shrooms or we were smoking or something, but we were talking on some deep shit. What, early adult deep shit, you know, mm -hmm. early 20s, you know. And he told me he came to the realization that he was the only one here and no one else was. And everybody, and everything he was perceived, that he could perceive was all there for his life. And that was it. And he was saying this to me with a straight ass face. And I was like, blah, you can't be serious. I was like, so I, was like, so I don't matter. I'm not here. He's like, well, nah. You just here for me to see, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was just like, and I was like, man, well, check this shit out. I was like, walk out in front of my house, stand in the middle of the street with the traffic coming on, and and we'll see about we'll see about your theory, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, there's I say I say that to say there are people who just really, I'm not sure if he still sticks by that this, to this day. But I'll um, ask you if if you got to if you if he still feels that way. <laughs> No, I, I don't think he does. I brought it up to him once, um, some years ago, but it, it, it didn't really last long in the uh, combo. But um, but for the sake of this conversation, someone actually said that to me, with a straight face. Wow. It was like, yeah, like, and then they, I think they were they were saying it to me. It wasn't in, in like a negative way. They were saying it like how interesting it is that I came to this re this revelation that I'm the only one here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wait. mean. A shrill bit has something to do with that too. I guess I, I don't mean, know. Yeah. I I don't know, man. But he but he was saying it to me like he believed it, and it wasn't like I'm the shit or nothing. He was just like, yeah, I came to this, this realization, man, and I I figured it out. It's I only figured. me here. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. <laughs> yeah. But um, but what to what you were saying, like, dude, like I didn't really under. Like when I started learning about narcissistic behavior, like, and I'm not talking about narcissists, like people who are diagnosed with narcissism, that's like really extreme, you know what I'm saying? And that's some real sociopathic shit. But narcissistic behavior, certain things that 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 fall, fall under that category, that anyone without, you don't have to be a narcissist to do narcissistic shit, you know what I'm saying? And I, when I, the, the longer I lived and the more I started understanding what that was, the more I realized how many people I knew like that and had known like that in, 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 in my life. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really a trip how, how many people just really be like, I, you know, it's one thing to be your own star player, right? Because yeah. you're supposed to. But that's, you're supposed to be like, from what, you know, from my point of view, you're supposed to be your own star player and everybody is their own as well, their own star player. Not just like, I'm my own star player and I'm the <laughs> only star player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, fuck everybody else. And um, there are really a lot of people like that, bro. That I mean, for whatever reasons, whether it's how people are raised, uh, um, from what I understand, from what I've heard um, and read, like a lot of those narcissistic behaviors can be caused, be, re be reactions to trauma. You know what I'm saying? Whatever kind of trauma people go through in life and they create boundaries and barriers and how they deal with shit. But um, not to judge anybody, I'm just saying that the older I got, the more fascinated I started becoming with the reality of how how many how, how how normal that is how normal behavior a lot of that is for a lot of people like you know what i'm saying i mean we just had a, a president that was a hundred percent narcissist you know what i'm saying and everybody's like go and i'm not saying whether i'm not getting political but i'm saying it's really hard pressed to say this man is not narcissistic cool. right but cool. but to my point my point is how normal how normalized narcissistic behavior has become as something cool and you know you look around you see it you, and you know this just to you know like without stretching too far this is like the root of like school shootings and shit you know what i'm saying like anyway well oftentimes man 
like a positive characteristic is 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 like is a negative counterpart and so like like people are confusing that narcissistic behavior with like extreme confidence self-confidence and and leadership almost right like that's absolutely that's the flip and it's like okay the, there's a difference between being a strong leader and and, and self-confident and being you know so it's, it's almost like a you know like a reflection reflective negative characteristic so that's the danger with all these things man i mean it's like just like if you take something to the extreme it can still become a bad thing and so you know let's get into that like what says um you know self awareness versus being self conscious and uh so sometimes people can overly be overly self aware and veer into what is known as self self consciousness i mean have you ever felt like anyone was watching you judging you and waiting did you put that in there no nope. oh. okay um and I was like, yeah, I, I thought I saw this. So I wanted to get into that, man, because that's a negative, a negative, you know, way to take this, where we're like self awareness versus self consciousness. But yeah, that so that was an interesting take out. That's why I wanted to put it in there and see what you thought about it. That, that the person said you can become overly self aware, and now you're just basically paranoid. I mean, or or yeah. or, or, or just I mean completely yeah, self conscious yeah. about like thinking everybody's looking at you. Or giving a fuck about you when they don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's a uh, it's a thin line, slippery slope, it's a gray area. I don't know all that shit. I mean, it's balance in life is so important. You know, um, it, you know, too far either way off of balance, and you you'll have some chaos. You know, so um, good point, I, yo. I, I, I definitely know people who um, see it's you know at, at a certain point, like the semantics are so crazy because you know being self-conscious is with a positive connotation is where politeness comes from. You know what I'm saying? And from a negative or oh, oh, too too much uh, connotation, it's like where narcissism starts. You, you know, it's like. It's, it reminds me of a lot of things in life. And I know I don't, I don't mean to talk in circles, but like, you know, most things are new. Most things in reality just are what they are until you put a kind of connotation on them. You know, like um, whether you put a, a good twist on it or a bad twist on it, like a, a optimistic point of view on it or a pessimistic point of view. And I'm not trying to say that for it to be an easy way out of just like every anything goes because anything is possible. But when talking about this kind of stuff, it's kind of hard to not make mentioned the difficulty and where the actual line is where people where we as humans go wrong in in, in our decision in our whether you know in our self-awareness versus self-conscious i don't even know if those can be verses really like what would what's the contrast from self-awareness and self-conscious they're kind of like i don't like what but right? i mean they're kind of so i do I, under, I do understand you looking, people yeah, becoming if you're looking at it, so I, I kind of see what you're saying. If you're looking at, so there's two ways to look at self-conscious. If you're looking at conscious as be, just being conscious of yourself, then yeah, that's basically another synonym for self-awareness. But if you're, look, but the, the term I, the term I'm, I'm looking at more of the negative term where somebody's self-conscious, where they're basically thinking everybody's. Um, like Kanye, like Kanye, so, so I'm so self-conscious. Yeah, fuck. Kanye. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't get me started. But um, uh, like like where, where they think everyone cares about what they're wearing or what they look like or what they're you know and just where it's where it's paranoid. Somebody actually brought this that, self, self insecurity. So self yeah insecurity. Self consciousness can lead to a dwelling on personal flaws other people don't even notice. So that's the type of thing that I'm that I'm referring to. That's, well, I like this person's comment. Said they came with about three good ones. Um, you were saying you were saying. that. So that's more than you know. That's not what I'm. So I'm not talking about like. It is simply being conscious of because otherwise that's just that's the same thing as self as self awareness. I get I mean. what you mean. I get what you mean. You know what yeah, uh, I mean when it gets to the point of uh, like paranoia and I mean I guess I guess one one would be self awareness is through is through the eyes of good of high self esteem and. Overly self conscious is through the goggles of low self esteem. That's a good way to look at it. I mean, because 
Yeah, no, because again, it's about perspective, right? Like, yeah. so they're you're still conscious of yourself, but you take it to another level because you know you, you got got some self work stuff going on, and right. So we, we've taken it to like another level. Oh my God, they think I'm this. Nobody ain't even thinking shit about you. Versus you know being, then we said self aware, where we're thinking like, man, my actions may affect people this way. You know, I need to, you know different things like that. So um, as you said earlier, like balance, man. Like it's like not all one one way or the other as far as because you lean one way and and it's now you're paranoid but it out right so it's, yeah so it's, it's a you know and that's the that's the thing there man but what one thing i wanted to point out here is that at least it's helped me is that um trying to work on my self-awareness you made a good point about like how we're trying it's helped me lead to like to have more compassion for other people like it's because if I'm really self-aware, I'm seeing my, my faults as well as the positive things about me, right? True, true self-awareness, yeah. So if I'm really self-aware, I'm seeing those those negative things or those things I'm trying to work on, and then it's helping me realize, hey, you're not perfect. So don't be a fucking asshole to everybody, and and, and it's helping me see that other people, you know, I have the same challenges that other people have and stuff like that. So if I'm so it's by me trying to be self-aware i'm looking at like the shit i need to work on as well as the stuff that's as well as patting myself on the back for my victories yeah. and so it's allowed me to kind of look at like just look at i don't know it's it's helped me become more human i think man like just where i'm like man we really i really ain't that much different from this person here we're really not that much different you know and we're man, really, that, got a lot of that's that that's the root of empathy man so, you know like you know like Caring, loving oneself so much that you can love others and understand their position, um, and and that leading to wanting to that you can't really fix nobody else but yourself. You know what I'm saying? So the only way we can make the world better is to make ourselves better. Self awareness, you yeah. know, like when 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 someone and, and of course I gotta keep I gotta always say this. This ain't I'm no authority on none of this shit. I'm winging it like everybody else. So. I'm just speaking from what I understand, but um, yeah, uh, self awareness, true self awareness is is the uh, the, the ability to to under to have empathy. You know what I'm saying? To to understand your situation and, and and see how other someone else has a situation equally as important to them, and um and and it stops us from looking outwardly for all the problems in the world and really just looking inward to the only thing we really can't control is our own actions, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And I, we, we always go, we always end up there. Yeah, right? it, it helps. It helps us not to, it really puts the onus on us to get our fucking acts together. Right. And like, yeah. and, and, and when we start to see like, damn, maybe I am a bit harsh. Damn, maybe I am a bit this or that, or I can be, you know, I can, and I think it, it you know, it, it really breaks us down. Like, it's, like, again, we're seeing, like, damn. All right. And if we're accepting that, we're realizing, okay, that's a place where we may need some growth, then we'll be more, and that's the thing, too. We'll be more tolerant of other people's shortcomings. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and just be like, I, I've been, and it's funny for me because I'm not one, I've brushed some things off recently with people that I normally wouldn't have brushed off because I, uh. you know, so I, I, it, it felt good. I was like, ah, I don't give a like, whatever, man. I we all it's all good. We all that's go. dope. And that's 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 growth for me, man. Because that's typically something where I would have needled the shit, and I would have broken it down on like twenty different angles and had them all fucked up at the end, and where the heads all spinning around. And I don't feel any better. They feel like shit, and we're still like we, you know. So I, I'm so I'm learning, trying to learn. I, I, I'm right, man. First of all, congratulations, and and um, I, I truly applaud that because I'm right there with you. Ending off that for a lot of the end of last year and full momentum coming into this year, I really been on some like, like realizing that like damn shit that's kind of just rolling off me and like it ain't like it make like some shit that that clearly may bother me is not making me react the same way that I would have. It's you know it's, it's I'm not denying that it don't bother me, but it just doesn't hit me the same and and it, I don't have the same uh you know. It, you described it like, you know, like, damn, you, you done poked a bear now with that bullshit. You right. know what I'm saying? Not to say that people don't still be on their bullshit. Bullshit 
it's gonna be bullshit. But <laughs> but um, that's why I was like, congratulations, because I'm right there. I'm, I feel like I'm the same. I'm, I'm right there with you on that. Like, just the end of last year and rolling into this year, so it's like there's more pressing matters at hand than, than some of the shit I spend energy on that I just don't want to spend that kind of energy on anymore. And it's it's not like the it's not like a complete change of heart or nothing. I still feel like that's some fuck shit, but uh, right. but it just just kind of rolls off a motherfucker a little different, right. you know. Um, so yeah, no, congratulations. Bro. So yo, I think having or trying to have self awareness, right? Because we're not, not perfect. We're trying to trying to just move along. I think trying to have self awareness. Um, I forgot my point. It. Uh, I forgot. No. <laughs> nah, well, it'll always it'll come, come back, back, man. Um, uh, there's another positive thing that it helps us. It helps us with. Um, but I forgot what that thing was. But there's, a, but actually, there's a, there's numerous w ways to branch off of this, though, right? And this is why it's it's cool because there's so many positive things that can come out of out of. Oh, it helps us prioritize. Like so, for me, if I'm really self, if I'm on it, then I can I can look at my life. I try to look at my life, and I can prioritize what's important and what can take a backseat and what and what. Where like it's kind of like you said, where to spend my energy, like where where to put it, because it's valuable, and I don't have a lot of it left. So yeah, yeah, I mean, the older we get, like the more responsibilities we have, the more we don't get more energy to spread around. We just got more shit to do, and uh, like you said, the prioritizing is like, yo, know, you know, this this deserves my energy more than other things. That's what that's what uh, it's a trip about getting older, man. It's like if you care about your the shit that's important to you enough. You'll you'll find you, your life will find a way to dump the bullshit. You know, it, it it's a trip. No, I didn't mean to interrupt. I I a hundred percent uh subscribe to that as well. It's like, listen, man. Like a lot of it is like, I really just don't got the energy for that because I need it for something else that's more important. Right. And uh, and it just happens to be that like, oh damn, that used to really bother me. You yeah. know that yeah. And and it's now it's like. It's different, you know. Did we did we talk? About, I mean, because you mentioned them earlier, but the, the, I think you have some notes here. This is what you put the three types of self awareness. Uh, yeah, the, I, yeah. I, it was something I just saw that I thought was. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. I thought it was not the bodily one. Uh, like yeah, get to talk about a little bit about these because I, I'm, I'm particularly the the, the bodily one. Uh, this one is it's just me. Yeah, go ahead. Well, um, yeah. Uh, what what's the trip about that? Uh, being a you know of a smaller stature myself, growing growing up. Um, I've been around a lot of like bodily unaware of they don't of their self aware you know bodily self aware of their own movement through shit like as a I turn into like a spicy small dude because I'll start pushing people back you know what I'm saying but some people they when they're just big they move around and you know, you know just and it's kind of like Shaq in the key you know what I'm saying he's like he's just gonna move because he's big. And you kind of got to let them know you're there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, that was my first, that, 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 those were my first experiences with people who are bodily non-self-aware. Um, but that, I mean, that goes, that goes a lot of different ways. Like, you know, there's always that motherfucker lighting it up, farting in hella much on the plane. You know what I'm saying? The, the bathroom is right over there. You know what I'm saying? But you're just going to do it right here. And I'm not going to say I haven't done that, but I don't make it a, a regular thing i don't need you know what i'm saying that's another bodily uh, self-aware shit um also again we go back to uh drunk motherfuckers man that, that, that's classic bodily unself-aware non-self-aware but i don't want to go back down that road it seem like i'm just just getting on drinkers because i don't drink no more like you know i don't give a fuck but it's just a fact <laughs> you know what i'm saying motherfucker you can't can't do things bodily as well when you're intoxicated mm -hmm. but um but those are a couple examples so yeah, whatever y'all we're back I just want to make a save, we'll save that so, in case we're back. it ended up be bugging, IJ be bugging. So, um, yeah, we're talking self-awareness. This is episode 10, talking crazy with a man, A-plus, higher ethics, and we're, talk, we're talking about self-awareness in particular. Uh, this is our monthly build on a monthly build on mental health, uh, various mental health topics. So, we're talking about self-awareness tonight. And, oh, it's so interesting. You know, we went in, like, we've gone in, like, 15 different directions with this um, because – it's like it's almost like the source for a lot of different shit, right? Like you can like positive and negative, lack of it. There's a bunch of roads you can go down this way if you have it. There's a bunch of roads you can go down, go bunch of roads you can go down this way. You know what I'm saying? So um, we were talking. We were 
were talking yeah. about before we got off the about the bodily it, self awareness. Um, so I'm gonna ask you a question, you know, just straight up question, like just about yeah. the social shit, and it's not judging anybody or asking guys. It's a question, right? So let's say you see um, a really large, large obese person out, woman or man. With like really tight shit on or whatever, and things are just coming out in certain spots and stuff. And whether you're like trashing that person, or what the fuck, or you're just like you make it, you know, you kind of look and just keep it pushing. Like, do you think that that and that? Because particularly now, there's like this bodily um, uh, body positive movement that's going on with people and stuff like that. Like, rock what commercials are different now on TV and stuff, which I think in a lot of ways is good. Do you think there's like if people is that is that a form of bodily self awareness where like people, and I guess I'm not even asking where people um if it's good or bad yeah, I fuck that like but like do you think that's how do you think that relates to bodily self awareness at all that type of self well I well based off of the way our society is and 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 you know Western modern society um. Uh, large people with larger bodies are le are less of a norm societally. You know what I'm saying? Um, just in the psyche of the of the of the you know the, of the, of the Western world. Um, so I think you know I would think I would assume that you know people with with larger stature would be um, how do I pick the right words here? They're um, definitely conscious of the fact that they're bigger than than the average person. And um and we also know that like you know body shaming and and all of that stuff it you know it leads to all kinds of fucked up shit. First of all, I want to lay the basis down on the top of this shit. Like big or small, like just to put it in perspective, I raised my son not to like pick on anybody for anything and not to look down on anybody for anything, whether it be like somebody with anorexia, whether it be somebody who has an obesity problem, whether it be somebody who got one eye, whether it be like somebody of a different race, somebody with a missing limb, like. You know, I just kind of, I, I, I kind of have raised my kid to be like, everybody has their own situation and we all have things about us that we don't want people, you know, picking on. And so just put, your, I, you know, I taught my, I taught my son empathy, you know, and I was raised, I was kind of popped out. My mom kind of liked that. I was just a caring being. So I raised my son that same way. Now that said, I can, I, I, I don't really know what it's like to be a bigger person. So when I speak on these things, I'm only coming from the place of assuming what that may feel like based off of what I know what people may stare at me feels like for whatever it is they're staring at me for, you know. But since we're talking about bodily self-awareness, somebody with a bigger body has is going to be have a, a different take on bodily self-awareness than somebody who's averagely average size or small. So um, how they re react to that, I mean, I don't know. Like, what's the, what's the real quote? What's the like, question? No, you can't answer that. I just asked what your, what your take on What's your take on it? I, 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 your perspective I, I think, on what's your take on it was in relation to this, you know, the whole thing. So no, I mean, there's no. Well, well I, I think it's a physical fact that they're going to have to deal with uh, bodily, bodily self awareness more than the average human being, just just because of the physical space of things. Like things are built for smaller people. Just now, I don't want to say narrow mindedly, but just like things are built for smaller people. Like you know. Air, I don't want to get into the politics of that and uh, and and uh, nothing, but I I I, I could just assume that they're gonna to have to deal with shit more. Um, just uh, just like I can assume that me and people of my color are gonna deal with different shit here because of you know I'm racial I'm I'm self aware I'm Makes racially sense. self aware you know what I'm saying so I can I can tie that obje that objectivity into what it must uh, affect similarly of what it yeah. must be like for no, somebody of a larger stature. That's a good example. So I want to uh, you know? address this one question and then we're going to get into uh and before we get out of here and then we'll we're going to look at a couple of s solutions or as far as like you know how to develop self-awareness and then we will wrap it up so uh here's one here uh how do y'all feel about a person realizing over trailer uh how do y'all feel about a person realizing their own limitations without becoming negative self-talk well that's important um no, I, well, yeah yeah when have it like that uh i mean i think ne like negative self talk it, countering and negating and removing negative self talk 
is one of the most important things that we could do for ourselves as growing sentient beings. You know what I'm saying? Like the main thing that holds us back on anything, I this is to my personal belief. There are a lot of things in the world that are just there that become obstacles and adversity. But the only thing that truly holds us back from our high, from our highest potential and whatever that is is different for everybody is negative self talk. You know, whatever your situation is, if you're talking shit to yourself about it, you're going to do worse at it. And um, and someone discovering their limitations, I mean, limitations are real. I always use this as an, as, as an analogy. I know what I, I'm one of those people that like, I'll go hard on something that I believe I can do, that I believe is possible. I'll go ham on it. If I, if, if in the, my truest self of selves, I believe there's a possibility and I want to do it. I'm going to go hard because I truly believe that I can do it. Now, where that ties into reality is I'm not going to win a strongman contest and I'm not going to lift up the front end of a semi above my knees. That's just not realistic for me. You know what I'm saying? I just, I know I'm not going to accomplish that. So um, that's how I look at realizing my own limitations without it being negative self-talk. I just kind of try to be realistic about it and, make it so the limitation isn't like a strike against me. It's just a reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, like imagine, imagine like the MMA fighter who, with no legs, who's beating people up. Like he decided one day that like legs is a limitation. That's not going to stop me from learning how to whoop somebody's ass. You know what I'm saying? And, and did that shit is be beating people with legs. So, um, I'm, uh, I think, um, uh, a person realizing their own limitations, self limitations without it being negative self talk. It's just, it goes back to what we always talk about tomorrow that, that real honest, honesty with self, like having an honest conversation with self and not letting it be like an ego based conversation. So, where you, a limitation makes you feel like you're losing out. Like, man, I'm 5'7, bro. I am 5'7. I ain't never felt like a small motherfucker. Do you feel me? Like, I, I never have. I don't walk around. I don't feel that way, bro. I'm big. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean Napoleon big. I'm big in spirit, bro. So, like, I'm, I'm, if, if you're 6'1, I'm talking to you the same way as if you're 6'7, if you're 5'1, you're the same size human to me. And so, that's just how I roll. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, yeah, so I, I don't know if that uh, digs into her question at all. But um, thank you. Facts for, or hit his I or her. I can't you. really I'm see him. I'm so I get it, my G. So, uh, um, <laughs> word. Just my little take on that is the same thing. And I, you got to it at the end, was honesty, man. It comes back to being honest. Honest doesn't mean, uh, it doesn't have to be negative. It's, it's just a realistic assessment of what it is. What is the situation in front of me? What is my situation, right? What are my limitations? When we're honest with ourselves, then we don't, we stop, we, we make less dumb decisions because we don't do stupid shit that we know is not gonna work. If I can't fucking sing, and I know I can't sing, and I've taken singing classes and it just didn't work out. And I tried and I tried and I tried. <laughs> Why am I gonna try to keep singing, right? Like, and I tell people, just, just translate into the music. Yo, like, everybody's not gonna make it big, but as far as talent goes, if like, you've been doing this for like five, six, seven years, seven, 10 years, you've been doing something for like 10 years, and you're still pretty much in the same place as far as like, where you were year one, that might not be the thing for you. Like, it just, might not be you might have to reassess the shit and that's okay that's so so the, knowing our limitations is smart it's intelligent you know it's, it's like SWOT analysis in business strengths weaknesses uh, um opportunities and threats you just you just that's that's those are tactics that's intelligence so there's nothing wrong with that in fact it should be encouraged because it allows us to make more prudent decisions with our lives so um you know what i'm saying a hundred percent so, I couldn't, I couldn't um, have said it better, so we're, bro. We're going to get ready to wrap it up, but I, I wanted to... So the big thing we talked about here was honesty with this as far as like a, a, a way to develop this shit, right? And um, I, I had one thing, maybe you could you could uh, talk about it. Um, I shared check-in with, check with, with others. And so, and I wanted to say, like, I'm not saying we look for others to help us develop our awareness, but if we have people that we trust in our lives, man, like that we whose opinion we really value not like just some friend you know who would just tell you anything so we would, if we check in with them and they're going to tell us the tough shit about us that we may not we may not want to hear but we need to hear so that's where that's where i wanted to go with that one i don't know if you have anything on that one but or any of these others um yeah yeah not a hundred percent um I, i'm a firm believer in uh 
it's power in numbers. It takes a village. It takes a village. Um, strength in numbers. Um, uh, support system. Like I, I'm a, not only a recipient of that throughout life, um, but a firm believer in that. Like it, the the people who have supported me in my life, who have really done positive things for me in my life, are the most important people ever in my life. You know what I mean? Like, whether that be like, you know, as a child, whether that be as a teenager, a young adult, or even or even now, and, in, in, um, you know, closer to, close, you know, I'm in my 40s. Um, support from others and, um, you know, people being able to tell it straight, um, people have been able to, be, people able to listen without their own biases with just a, your your good intentions in in their heart that's been the most invaluable most invaluable and valuable uh things in my life so ch checking in with oh yeah and um you know people you trust that that you really trust good people and you know what that you know you can they'll tell you some real shit and they'll be like hey don't get mad at me you know what i'm saying like i'm you know those kind of things will make a motherfucker change when they come from the right, uh, if we're from the right source I mean, and from a place you trust. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah, I mean, and, and, and again, these relationships right. are few and far between, right? But and even in, and even sometimes it happens in instances where it ain't really the relationship, but it's right. the circumstances that that bring that to your attention. But um, but checking in with others, see, that's where empathy comes into it. You know, like if you, once you're genuinely looking at your own shit. You can genuinely hear something from somebody else, and somebody will be able to genuinely tell you something and, and, and feel open enough to do that, you know? And, um, yeah, so, I mean, when you just end up on your own, I, dude, I know I've seen people be mad, isolated, and be on their own shit, and the bullshit grows. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, the, but the bullshit mutates. I see a motherfucker to be like, oh, my God, you on the same bullshit you was on five, ten years ago, except it's magnet magnet magnified. By five right. ten years of fostering bullshit, you, you know what I'm saying? It happens, bro. It, it, it happens. So, yeah, um, good people around you is is always. Uh, uh, of course, man. and like you I, I don't know where I'd be without. Few and far between. You know these mean? are special relationships. These are not like everyday relationships at all. So it's not like you listen to everybody. Like very, you, should, you know that circle. We recommend fuck, like, fuck small no, don't do that. Circles, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, because it, you know so. Um, as, as far as this, this check and shit, but it all comes back to this, as we said, you know, in, in this earlier, we say it in every single bill with all this man is, is being honest with ourselves. And it starts there. If, like if we're journaling, I mean, it's a lot to be said for writing, reading your own words. It's a, it's a scary thing sometimes, but reading your own words is heavy duty, man. It's yeah. Heavy duty. Like I wrote that, like, and you know, so that's something, you know, so, but if we're honest with ourselves, it, it, it that's at least in our we we, can, we both agree on it. I mean that from us our standpoint, same point. That's kind of where it starts, like just keeping a buck with yourself, absolutely. right? So absolutely. Um, we got to get ready to run. We yes, do this sir. every third Monday of each month. Uh, so candid discussion between two friends on mental health topics. I you know I think. The, yeah. What do you think about the next one being? Uh, I don't, have we done? We haven't done one on self talk, have we? Yeah, that's the next, yeah, that's nah, the next. we should self talk. That's it. Ne 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 next month, and um, for anybody listening, this this is uh just where we record that we then repost these on the YouTube. So like this is just like the recording of it. So yeah. everybody who tunes in for that, we're very thankful. And you can find these on our perspective YouTube's yeah. channels. And uh, yeah, a, a month from now, yeah. third Monday. So we got that right. Already, so topic. we got self talk, crazy. and uh, yeah, so we get this. We do we do it live, but these are always on both of our YouTube channels, and all past episodes are on uh, our YouTube channels as well. We're carrying the culture and uh, A Plus's channel as well. So um, if you, we we appreciate everybody being here, and we, you know um, this is important stuff, and we appreciate the comments and, and people sharing and stuff like that because this is stuff that we feel is important to talk about because nobody really talks about it. So um, yeah. so thank you, man. It's good talking right to you, seeing you, seeing you uh, in person and everything. Like well virtually in person blah 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 but just seeing you and um no likewise man and uh, um good to see you as well uh, thank congratulations you. Thank to you and a wife very happy for y'all very happy thanks for thanks and salute again everybody program. for joining in the positive comments we'll get this up uh we'll get a clip up soon on instagram and it'll be on our uh, on youtube soon so appreciate everybody next month got the topic already self-talk 
Um, this has been Talking Crazy with A-plus, myself, tomorrow. Everybody have a good night. Salute. Peace.